In this lecture, we will discuss about nth order reaction. Let us consider a general reaction. Reactant to product. And this is a nth order reaction. Rate constant k is given for this reaction. So we can write rate of reaction is equals to k times concentration of A to the power n. Rate of reaction can also be written in terms of decomposition of A. that is minus dA by dt. So we can equate if I separate the variables we will have Now at t is equals to 0 that is initially we have been given initial concentration of A is A naught and t is equals to t concentration of A is A t. So we can integrate this equation from 0 to time t concentration A naught to A T. You might remember integration of this kind of form x to the power minus n dx this is equals to x to the power minus n plus 1 divided by 1 minus n or we can write so this is the integration in this case we have x is equals to concentration of a so integration of left hand side we will have and limits are a0 to at. This side we will have simply k into t. So if I put the limits so we will have basically this is concentration of A raised to the power n minus 1 limit is A naught to A t so we can write So this is general expression for any third order reaction. Now this equation can be used for different values of n. For example, if n is 0, we will have zero order reaction. So in that case, we can write
So we have to place 0 at each cases for n. So we will have simply a to the power minus 1 a 0 to the power minus 1 is equals to minus k t you might remember this expression for zero order reaction if we plug n is equals to 2 we will get the expression for second order reaction that is 1 minus 2 everywhere we will have so here we will have n is equals to 2 so this is minus So, negative sign calcils. So, this is general equation for second order. You might th remember this one. Let us say n is equals to 1 first order reaction. Now, in case of first order reaction, we have a problem. Now, in this case, here we have 1 minus 1 that is 0. So, this is infinity, 1 by 0 is infinite. So, basically we cannot calculate expression by putting n is equals to 1. and this is because if you see the integration this integration is valid only if n is not equals to 1 if n is equals to 1 this becomes x to the power minus 1 dx that is 1 by x dx this is log x so basically we have a condition that this expression is valid when n is not equals to 1 and that's why we are not getting expression for first order reaction. Now let us say half life for nth order reaction. and it is defined as time when concentration becomes half of the initial concentration so we can place a naught by 2 in place of a t in general expression so this is the general expression a t will be a naught by 2 and this 2 to the power n 
n minus 1 So we can write minus k into t half because time is t half. So from here we can write So minus k into t half. We can observe negative sign. So we will have so this is t half for any third reaction. Now this T half can be used to calculate half life for zero order reaction, second order reaction. So T half is equals to T half for zero order reaction will be so this is minus half so this is minus k so we can basically cancel minus so this is a naught by 2 k T half for first order reaction is zero order reaction is a naught by 2 k that is it is directly proportional to initial concentration. Similarly, you may remember T half for first order reaction. And this is 0 0.693 by K. That is this is independent from initial concentration. Similarly, we can find T half for second order reaction. This will be 1 by K, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 to the power 1 minus 1, A naught to the power 1. So this is simply 1 by A naught into K. So this is inversely proportional to initial concentration. So this result you can remember for zero order reaction this is directly proportional to initial concentration first order reaction is it independent from initial concentration second order reaction this is inversely proportional to initial concentration.